Hey YouTube, um, so this is my 23 months on testosterone video, woo, 23 months, which means that I've almost been on testosterone for two years, which is really exciting. Um, as I told you all, I've been taking testosterone subcutaneously, and so I just wanted to show you, not what the injection looks like, don't worry, I just wanted to show you what, um, what my, my stock looks like. Um, so yeah, so this is one milliliter of testosterone uh, that I get at Walgreens. And then this is uh, an insulin syringe and needle that I got through a needle exchange program. Um, it's actually not the right kind because the needle isn't detachable. So, you, like, when you get testosterone, you get one thicker needle and one thinner needle. The thicker needle is to extract the teeth in the bottle, and the thinner needle is to inject the testosterone into your body. And um, so, yeah, with this, here, I'll show you really quick. With this, I just use one of my older needles from my I am injection days, so I just use this to get it from the bottle, it's, um, and then I, if the needle is on this side, it's an orange cap, and then what I do is I take out the back of this, and I just squirt the tea in there, right, and then, um, and then I like put this thing back on just a little bit so it doesn't spill, and then I flip it upside down and then push it through, because then it'll only get rid of the air and not the testosterone. Um, and it seems to go pretty well. The last, not the last shot, but the shot before that, I started doing my injections in my stomach as opposed to on my thigh. Because on my thigh, the next two days, I get really fucking sore for some reason. And I don't like that. Um, doing testosterone injections in my stomach and my like these area, um, it doesn't hurt at the time of the injection or afterwards, like at all. So it's really nice. I enjoy the lack of pain thoroughly. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> okay, so this month is Mustache May. Um, I haven't been shaving my mustache at all since May 6th, because that's when I found out that Mustache May was like a thing. And as you can see, there's nothing really there. <laughs> um, I definitely have some stuff, but one thing that I've noticed through this month is that um, the hair on the side of my face, because I just shaved this like two days ago, uh, yeah, two days ago, the hair on my side of the side of my face, like my chin, and then underneath my chin, which I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> uh, it grows a lot faster and a lot thicker than the hair on my upper lip, uh, which seems to have like a different texture and just thinner and softer and it grows the thickest at the corners, so if I shave off the corners, um, then it's almost like I don't have a mustache at all. <laughs> uh, at least it's not very, it's not particularly visible. Um, okay, so, uh, muscle growth. This is what my right arm looks like. I'm not particularly muscle yet. I don't really work out, like, ever. I ride my bike sometimes. I do some stretches sometimes. As you can see, my right arm is, like, twice the size of my left arm, because I'm right-handed. And yeah, I totally masturbate a lot, but it's not, I, I also do everything with my right arm. <laughs> um, let's see, this is what it looks like when I select my pecs, which means it pretty much looks the same as when I don't. <laughs> uh, and then traps and stuff, yeah. Um, body hair really quick. It's my body. So. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of fuzzy uh, for a while now. My happy trail is like crooked. I think it's fun. I like it. Um, and then in terms of chest hair, I get like peach fuzz right here. You can't see it, but um, I can see it. Not what matters. <laughs> you get the peach. I get peach fuzz right here, and then like I get like thicker hairs. That feels so weird. I get thicker hairs right here, and then I get like a little bit of so thicker hairs like on the outsides of my nipples. Maybe like a couple on top. Yeah, uh, but that's it. Um, in terms of like muscle growth and like fat redistribution and stuff, um, I'm not as curvy as I used to be, although I'm curvier than I'd like to be. And so that being said, I um, I always say I'm gonna start working out and then I don't, but I'm gonna try to start working out for real. Um, and I want to build up my pecs to just to like even out my scars and stuff, especially because I have this like extra skin in the middle. Um, and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to try to build up my pecs, which is hard because like 
I'll do push-ups and stuff, but I have really, like, weak wrists. There's, I've injured my wrists a lot because I played basketball and I played lacrosse and stuff. I've, I've played a lot of sports growing up, and so, like, it's been hurt a lot physically, and my right wrist in particular, I fractured it when I was younger, and ever since then, it just hurts to do push-ups. Um, so, <laughs> I'm trying to find things I don't need to go to the gym for, but things that also don't physically hurt. Um, and not in like a pain, no pain, no gain sort of way, but in a, ow, that hurts my bones, <laughs> like, sort of way. Um, but yeah, and then I also am hoping to get rid of my love handles, not because I care about being fat, I really, like, well, I'm not fat, I don't see myself as fat, I see myself as chubby, I, but like, I don't really care about fatness, I don't believe in taking part in fat shaming, um, fat people get enough like crap in society, and I just don't think that fatness is bad, um, but love handles are triggering for my, love handles are triggering for my dysphoria, and so it's just really, it's really difficult for me, like I posted this picture on Tumblr the other day just to like, it was just a top surgery update, and and a bunch of people like commented and liked it and stuff and that was really nice and sweet of them but I just uh it's like I didn't realize that that I looked that curvy and um and I know that I probably look less curvy to other people than I do to myself like I recognize that but it just I I'm getting upset like just talking about it right now it really upsets me for some reason uh, <laughs> but yeah so hopefully I'm gonna start meditating and um, do more stretches and stuff every day and stuff. Um, so that way if I don't get rid of them, at least I will come to peace with them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of testosterone updates. It's tough because when you get to this point, things the changes become slower and slower and less tangible. And so I've noticed that that I don't necessarily am always, I'm not always perceived as male, but I enjoy it more, um, then th I went through this phase where that's all I wanted, and then I went through this phase where I was like, I really don't want you to call me man or boy, and now I'm like, slowly becoming more masculine, um, and I don't know how I feel about that, but I also don't want to fight it, and, <laughs> um, but yeah, I will talk to you all later, okay, bye.